Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be making this bobble bonnet. So this is a zero to three month size. It's a little bit bigger than newborn size. And a crochet hook. The type of yarn that I'm using is Yarn B. I got this at Hobby Lobby and it's Breathe Deep in the color Spa. And I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. So first I'm going to find the center. To start off this bobble bonnet, you will need to make a magic circle. So, this is how I do it. Like that. And we are starting off with double crochet stitches. So, I'm going to chain two. This does not count as a stitch, it just gives you height. And I'm going to make the circle a little smaller so it's more comfortable. And now you want to make 10 double crochets into the circle. So yarn over, go into the circle, yarn over, come out of the circle, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. And that is how you make a double crochet. I will go and make nine more. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. As you see, this whole time I'm working in this end. That way it is easier at the end and you don't have to sew it in as much. Okay, now I have ten double crochets. Okay, so I have finished the first round i'm gonna go and count to make sure there are 10 double crochet stitches so this very first one over here is a chain two you do not count that that is just for height so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have ten now with this loose end i will tighten it like that make it as tight as you can so you can't really see the hole just like that now I'm going to slip stitch the very first stitch so like I said we do not touch the chain because that's there just for high so you just want to slip stitch just like that and chain two again for height and into that same stitch we are going to do two double crochets so one and two now into the next one we do two more double crochets so basically in each stitch you do two double crochets for this round the second round and at the end, you should have 20. So I'll come back with that. Okay, I am finishing up this row with the last stitch, the 20th double crochet stitch. You can go back and count and make sure you have 20. I'm not going to because I know I already do. Now, to start the third round, we do the same thing as we did 
go into the first stitch, not the chain, the first stitch right there. And you want to do a slip knot, just like that. And now you chain again. Only this time I am going to do only one double crochet into that stitch. But into the next one I'm going to do two. Into the third stitch I'm going to do one double crochet and then two again. So you keep going just like that two and then one, two and then one, and you should end up with 30 stitches for round three. I am at the end of my third row and into my last stitch of that row, I am making two double crochets. And this row has 30 double crochets. And just like the previous, you slip stitch into the very first stitch and chain two. Now you make one double crochet into the same stitch, one double crochet into the next one, and then you do two. So for this row you do two double crochets, then one double crochet, one double crochet, then two double crochets. So two, one double crochets into the next two stitches and then you increase with two double crochets in the same stitch. And you go all the way around and you should end up with 40 stitches so you can count it to make sure that you did it right. If you did this correctly, your last stitch should be two double crochets. Now you slip stitch. chain two, single crochet into the same stitch, and for this row, row five, you want to do three, I mean, not single crochet, double crochet, three double crochets into the next three stitches, so one double crochet per stitch, and then you increase. So I have one, two, three, and now I do two double crochets into the same stitch. Now again, I do one double crochet into the next three, and then I increase with two double crochets. So this is my increase over here, seeing one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, now increase two double crochets and that's how you repeat it all the way around with 50 double crochets. Now I finish this last stitch with two double crochets. Slip stitch and chain two. Now single, I mean double crochet, one double crochet into the same stitch. Now you want to do four double crochets, one double crochet into the next four stitches and then increase. So, two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet. Now increase 
with two double crochets into the same stitch one and two so let me show you close up one two three four now increase with two and you repeat that all the way around and at the end you should have 60 double crochets now into the last stitch i'm doing two double crochets and now slip stitch to the first stitch chain two as you can see it's starting to curve a little it's not flat that's because it will be shaping the back of the baby's head and it will be nice and fitted so we have finished row six one two three four five six now for the seventh row we are not going to be increasing anymore just double crochet into each stitch so at the end you should have the same amount of stitches 60 stitches okay i have finished this round now i'm going to be making the hat part so this was the this is the back of the head part and i kept slip stitching it together now i will not be connecting it so that that it is open for the neck part now for row eight we will not be slip stitching instead chain one turn your work and do a single crochet into the very first loop over here you want to do three single crochets so two and three now we are going to make our bobble so you want to yarn over insert yarn over pull through again yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over insert yarn over pull through we did that three times one two three you want to do it four times so one more time and pull through all of them. Now we are not going to be chaining, slip stitching, but doing a single crochet into the next stitch. That is how we will close it off. And two more single crochets. So one, two, three. So this is how your first little bobble stitch looks like. Now we are going to make another one. So I am going in four times. So that's my second time, third, and my last, my fourth and my last time. And pulling through all of the loops. Now to secure it, we are going to single crochet single crochet into the next three spaces so two three and there you have your first two little bubbles and you want to go all the way around okay so i just did my last bobble for this row and i'm going to finish off this row with single crochets so one two three four and your very last one try not to miss it five now you want to chain one and single crochet all the way across so 
So you just keep single crocheting all the way across. And this row has 14 of these bobbles. Okay, I'm doing my last single crochet into row nine. And I'm going to chain one and turn my work and start on row 10. So row 10 is bobble stitch, but this time we want to make them in between. So we will be alternating every time so that every time it is in between the previous row. So to achieve this, you want to single crochet five stitches this time. So last time we did three, but this time you want to do five. So two, three, four, and five. Now you do your bobble stitch. So one, two, three, four, four, and you do it just like the last time, three single crochets in between. Three, and if you look at it, you see this one is in between these two, and that's what you're going for. So you just do that all the way down, all the way around. Okay, so I finished the 10th row with three single crochets, and then I'm going to chain one. So this is it for this video, part one of this video. And to finish this off, I will be doing a part two. So I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll be back in part two of this video.